try my best, I don't know if I can go on much longer. Tired of try my best, I gonna give up, gonna give up, gonna give up someday. One day, I'll say. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just about to go on a run right now. My feet are freezing. <laughs> I always get super cold, then I put on socks, just like my dad taught me, and then we're back to normal, we're back to good. I haven't given you all a little bit of a running update in quite some time, I just, I have been running, but I just, I think get intimidated by the idea of sharing tips or tricks or something of that nature because I just am such a beginner on every level. But I also think maybe that's very helpful. Maybe you're somebody that's watching this and you've never really run yourself or maybe you want to get into running or maybe you're experienced and you can offer me some tips. All of the above are acceptable. <laughs> I have to finish my coffee first. It's kind of like my pre-workout of sorts, if you will. Sometimes if I do wait a little bit longer to work out in the morning. If I don't wake up and go right away, I'll definitely have some sort of snack, whether that's peanut butter toast or an apple. Something kind of light and kind of carb heavy, not just for runs, but really any workout in general. I've heard that it's better to have something that isn't very proteiny until after your workout. And I have to get in the zone because right now, I don't wanna go outside at all. <laughs> two things I always try and do, two tips that I tell myself if I'm not wanting to work out in the moment. One, I think of how good I'm going to feel once I actually get up, get off my butt, get outside, get my workout done, and remember that incredible feeling that endorphins give you. Or two, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I think about how my actions in this moment will help me achieve my goals however far down the line. If that's future Taylor yelling at past Taylor, aka present Taylor right now, if you're following, then how is present Taylor right now helping to make future Taylor happy and help her along her way to achieve her goals? Does that make sense? Is it a little bit weird? Yes, but I just, I don't know. It works for me, it works for me. I would say, I'm not sure if I could continually be a runner if it wasn't for listening to podcasts while I run. I use AirPods, I just think that they actually work pretty darn well. They don't fall out, they're not weird. It's, like such a pretentious thing to be advertising, but I do like my AirPods, but I've used so many different headphones. I have cord headphones. Anything that works for you, I think is amazing. But saving a good podcast for my run is kind of the highlight of my week because it makes me excited to listen to that podcast. But instead of just listening to it, maybe while I'm at my desk, I can get my workout in while also doing the thing I wanted to do either way. You could even do this with a walk. You could do this with a jog, whatever works for you. Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton have a great podcast. It's very light. It's fun. It's just like talking with your girlfriends, like FaceTiming them. Chicks in the Office is also a really fun one if you want just celebrity gossip. It's a Barstool Sports podcast, so it's kind of got that edgy twist to it. If you want something that talks about real issues, but in a way that's very digestible, very easy to understand, Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness is fantastic. And then of course, there's this little old podcast called Don't Get It Twisted. I like it a lot. I think it's a cool podcast. It's my own. <laughs> These are my running shoes. They're the best stinking things ever. I highly, highly recommend if you're somebody that's looking to get into running to actually invest in getting a fitted pair of running shoes. When I first wanted to get into running, which admittedly was like two years ago, my sister purchased these for me, I think as a graduation gift or something. I absolutely love them. I went into the store thinking, I want this exact brand, I want this color, I want this style, blah, blah, blah. And I'm so surprised that I left with these, not because they're bad, but just because with running shoes, one, don't worry about the style. They're kind of all ugly colors, to be honest. But also two, 
when you're running, you need something that's going to support you, that's not going to give you some really bad injuries or shin splints, whatever it is. You have to be comfortable and it has to be well suited to your body. I know that's really, really difficult with the pandemic right now, but maybe you could even find some sort of website online that does an online fitting. Pick me, pick me, I'm a three my lord. I actually did research on this for you all. I found an online shoe fitter quiz of sorts. So not maybe a perfect replacement, but a really good alternative for these quarantine times. So if you're looking for a running shoe, check the link in my description box below. But yeah, that's my running PSA. <laughs> I feel like I always show myself in this vest, but it's pretty much the only one I own right now. I think that this vest is perfect for running, at least in the climate that I'm in right now. It's about 40 degrees out right now, which isn't terrible. I think a general rule of thumb I've learned is to dress for about 20 degrees warmer than it actually is. That's how it will feel when you're on your run. So this one's pretty nice. I think I got it maybe from Sport Chile when that was even still a thing, which is kind of like a Dick's Sporting Goods or something like that. I want to say it's North Face, but if you go to a store like that, really nice brands are always on sale, but just nice to have a vest to wear while I'm running and then wash it, wash it afterwards. <laughs> Also, I kind of redecorated in here, which I think is kind of cute. I don't know, I sort of like it. I just got this kind of like lemony, grease, Italy vibe, and I love it. Oh my God. Okay, I take back what I said, it's freezing cold. Um, but my breathing technique, that's something that has helped me so much with running, and I highly encourage you to find a breathing technique that works for you too. Can you even hear me? Jeez. The one that I love, it's two breaths in, two breaths out, all with your mouth, I think. Sorry, my mom's currently texting me, telling me how to cut an avocado. I just wanted to say that I am listening to Sabrina Carpenter's song. <laughs> no, I said that wrong. I meant to say I really take two breaths in, one breath out, but I think I just had foggy running brain. I was so tired in this moment. I couldn't articulate what I really was trying to say. But from what I've heard, there's so many different methods. So find what works for you. Just find a technique that like helps you get distracted and doesn't just like get you stuck in the mindset of, I feel out of breath. nice just to get it over with. I hope that you're inspired halfway through the run. This always happens to me. I all of a sudden get very, very happy, very proud of myself. Two miles in, I don't know if this is a known runner thing, but once you're into it, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit easier. The endorphins start to kick in and I just feel a lot happier. So proud of myself and I'm proud of you. I love you all so much. All right, it's been maybe an hour or so. I just did an interview with the host of the So Confused podcast. Her name is Morena. She is absolutely wonderful. And we just had a really good conversation about mental health and the fitness industry. I just turned off my camera. All the above. So it was a really, really good conversation. Highly recommend listening to it when it comes out. But I just almost forgot to do my daily plank and also I kind of got the inspiration to do this ab workout. If you listen to my podcast where I interviewed Janet Domahina on everything about her fascinating life, I highly recommend listening to it because I just think she's absolutely fantastic. She's a fellow YouTuber, but she also just created her own fitness brand, which is fantastic. It's already out now. It's called The Dreamy Fit. I hope that you look into it and I think it's going to be so beyond cool. That's actually wrong. The brand comes out tomorrow, Saturday, the 23rd of January, 2021. I thought I was going to post this video next week, but stay tuned. Go to thedreamyfit.com tomorrow. But I just absolutely love her. And she grew up in Texas and happened to cheer for this cheer program called Cheer Athletics. And if you're not familiar, Cheer Athletics is probably like top five best 
cheer programs in the country. They're absolutely amazing. And when she told me that she cheered with them, literally my jaw was on the floor. It was absolutely like one of those idol moments where I grew up as a fellow cheerleader idolizing all of the cheerleaders at cheer athletics. So just to be speaking with one and not even know it, it was like, Janet. <laughs> so after I recorded that episode and I posted it and everything, I was having a conversation with a subscriber named Paige and she said, I've loved cheer athletics for so long. I do their ab workouts. And I'm like, what do you mean their ab workouts? I'm scared. So she sent me over the workout. I'll put it up on the screen. If you want to follow along, maybe you can do it too. I'm beyond nervous, mainly because cheer is known to have extraordinarily tough core workouts. But uh, just wish me luck. I'm gonna start with my plank just so I can get it over with. And then, destruction. I don't even know. I'm only on four and I'm already tired and I still have to go all the way up the ladder and then all the way back down. up the ladder. And to be honest, I think I'm just gonna hang out there for another day or two. I completely underestimated this workout. As I was warned, Paige definitely did warn me, so that was my fault. But I, I'm a little bit rushed for time, so I just kind of want to uh, maybe end on the high, as in the height of the ladder. That's all right, because I still did it and I wouldn't have done an ab workout either way, so this is your PSA to even, you know, start the workout. It's okay if you can't finish it, it's okay if things get in the way or if you get tired or if it's just too hard, like it is for me right now, it's all right, but you did it. You did it. I don't even want to hear it about the Christmas tree. I get it. This is the last Christmas thing that we actually have up in our apartment, even the one in my room has been taken down. But something that is so important to touch on with running in particular is stretching before and after. I've always heard it is better to dynamically stretch only before the run. So that means maybe you're kicking your legs some or you're swinging your arms. You're kind of moving very actively. But then after the run, after the run is so, so, so important to do a little bit of stretching, whether that's just the classic runner stretch. You do some of these, you do some of these. <laughs> I love this one where like your leg is like that and then you're like this and then you go like that. I don't know any of the names. Pigeon? Is it pigeon? I run so slow and I don't intentionally run like a snail, but truly I would rather just find a good pace that works for me and take it slow and almost master my breathing or master my technique rather than just trying to sprint and then feel really tired and burnt out. I know a lot of people ask me if I do running intervals and I don't. I used to do intervals on the treadmill, for example, I'd run for a certain number of minutes and then I'd walk and then I'd run and then I would rock walk. But when I'm outside, I just feel a lot more capable, I guess. I feel a lot more confident in continually trying to run. So I just kind of want to keep up that consistent pace, but I definitely have heard it's a great thing to try. Maybe I'll try it in the future for myself. I know that's a very common thing with couch to 5k, couch to 10k, which is just a way to get you into running in a very safe and beginner friendly way. The only reason I didn't do that program was because I've already run a 12K before, so it felt like I was a bit beyond the program. Yeah, the journey is slow and steady, but hopefully winning the race. If you've been following my journey for some time, you know that I've always wanted to be a runner, so it's kind of cool just almost living through that and trying my best to enjoy every moment of the process. But taking care of yourself is so important. Getting your proper running shoes or running equipment is so important. If it's really cold where you are, please be safe. Maybe stay inside or wear gloves or earmuffs or something that's going to actually keep you warm and safe outside. I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you like this, let me know if you have 
feedback or comments for me, leave them down below. Follow me on Instagram, message me. I love talking to you all. It makes my whole entire heart. If you wanna go on a run and you wanna listen to a cool podcast, don't get it twisted. I've heard it's kinda cool sometimes, but I love you all so much. Reese! I'm trying to get Reese to come over to say goodbye, but she's playing with a toy, so I'll let her be. Love you all. I hope that you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.